Well, hello there, believers. I have a spiritual experience that I want to share with you, something that happened to me today. Um, I was taken into the Spirit, heard things, saw things of the days ahead, and I want to share them with you. But before I do, I wanted to remind you that the Lord had been dealing with me, and I have been sharing on other videos that there is a 2020 vision for the year 2020. And that's found in 2 Chronicles 2020, which says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. There's a prophetic nature to the church that encompasses, it fills uh, all of the church, all believers. The ability of the Holy Spirit on the inside of them to hear what the Spirit of God is saying and to prophetically lead and to guide them. But there's also the restoration of the ministry of the prophet. And the way that has been brought forth over the last generation has brought great benefit to the body of Christ. And so I just want to share some of those things with you. As I was meditating today, I wanted to do a video and kind of hit some of the highlights over the last year, things that the Lord has said. And while I was praying about it and even writing down some notes and getting ready, the Spirit of God just overcame me. And as it did, I was transported into the spiritual realm and in vision form, I heard the Lord say some things. He said, first of all, the year 2020 is the year of third heaven authority in your mouth. Now, several months ago, he spoke that to me, and I also brought that forth in a video. But then he followed it up. You know, the Spirit of God's getting all over me. I can feel that anointing is what I mean. And he said, the next decade is a decade of third heaven authority in your mouth. And I began to see in the spiritual realm, if any of you have had the Holy Spirit speak to you, and I know that most of you have, in a way that he can just, in just a split second, can transfer and inject into you volumes of information, it seems like. And I could see that the Lord was saying that we are now on a cusp of a new decade. It's not just about 2020. It's about the next 10 years. And I could sense the Holy Spirit was excited about it. I could sense that there would be a continuation of a lot of different forms of warfare, of attacks from the enemy, uh, things about Jezebel, Antichrist, uh, a Pharisee, the beast, etc. But also, I could sense this power surge, this authority that God was bringing upon the church. Greater authority, I'm talking about manifested, not that God's been withholding it, He's given the church, He's given believers authority in the Lord Jesus Christ, but the manifesting of it in the way that it's going to come to pass has great significance, great power. And the Lord said this. He said the next decade is a decade of the advancing of the lion's army. Now those of you that remember that, oh, probably about a year, three months or so ago, the Lord gave me a vision of the lion's army. He took me into the spirit and he showed me a battleground and on the far side of the battleground there was this advancing horde of demonic spirits and they were screaming and screeching at the top of their lungs and their voices were grating and attempting to cause fear, panic, confusion. And then on this side of the battlefield, I could see the righteous army. And they were in their spiritual armor, and they had their swords raised up high, and the light was glinting off of their swords. And I heard a voice booming, thundering, 
from behind the righteous army. And it was a voice, but it was also a lion's roar. And I turned to look and I saw this huge picture, so to speak, image of the lion of the tribe of Judah, the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And he roared. And as he roared, his voice and the words that was in the roar entered the backs of the righteous army, which are the saints of God, you and me. And the saints opened their mouths and simultaneously from the lion's mouth and from the saint's mouths, the words, you have lost, we have won. It was a declaration of authority. And then the Spirit of God lifted the righteous army up over the heads of the advancing horde. And while they were still screaming and still running forward onto the battlefield for engagement, the righteous army spoke those words. You have lost, we have won. They began to speak scripture, speak declarations, prophecies, using their authority against the enemy. Fire came out of their mouths. And in the fire were angelic beings, the angels of God, the warrior angels. And the fire would go down and touch one of the demons. And it would have an effect on them. It would slow them. Some of them were beginning to be paralyzed. And then behind the, the horde of demons, the unrighteous army, I saw a beast rise up. And the beast was very angry because he saw what was happening to his army. And the beast yelled, scream louder, scream harder, because he knew the power was in the screams. Screams do not have to be rational. In fact, they're usually not. It's filled with fear, with distraction, with confusion, with misbeliefs misinformation, all the things that are against the truth of God and his holy word and what we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. But he knew that it was already lost. And in that vision, the Lord began to deal with me about how that the lion's roar, the lion's army, and the angelic flame symbolically are coming through the body of Christ in order to advance God's purposes in the kingdom of God on the face of the earth, and specifically for us that are in America, for our nation, that it was, for, it was right for us to take our nation back because God has plans and purposes, not for destruction of this nation, but to raise this nation back up, I heard in the spirit today, the Lord said, in this decade, there is the rising of the eagle. I heard those words, the rising of the eagle. And I knew by revelation of the spirit that he was talking about America because the eagle is a symbol of America, but also the prophetic warriors. The eagle is a symbol of the prophetic warriors. The prophetic warriors that have the ability to rise up high on the wings of, of the Holy Spirit and of God and the prophetic ability and to be lifted up by the wind of the Spirit of God and the currents of that wind to be raised up to be able from God's perspective to look down and to see from above, not from below on the linear level of being caught up in all of the circumstances, but from God's perspective to see down and to accurately discern and see what's going on. And also at the same time with the eagle's eye to be able to look into the future and to see God's purposes and to bring them through prayer and through the ministry of the prophetic eagle into reality in the here and now. I also heard the Lord say, it is the decade of the tearing of the beast. Now the Lord spoke that to me once before, earlier this year, 
think it was about February. And he said, there is the tearing of the beast. I saw the beast, the one that I had previously seen, come across Europe, dive off of the eastern, I'm sorry, the western seaboard of, of Europe, swim underneath the Atlantic Ocean and then crawl up on the eastern seaboard of the United States. That beast system and how it was manifesting, controlling Jezebel and the spirit of Antichrist and all of the influence. It worked below the surface, but it would rear its head up, its face up, through the manifestation of Jezebel's tactics, through that religious system. You know, there's no such thing as an atheistic, purely secular system. There is no such thing. Because the Apostle Paul said that behind all idolatry and all of those kind of anti-Christ movements and beliefs and structures are demons. And demons that are controlling that are not secular. They're from the pit of hell. And so therefore, it's a religious structure with its own doctrine, with its own prophets and teachers. Those prophets of Jezebel, the far left politicians, the far left media, academia, Hollywood, the far left the radical, socialistic aspect of her camp preaching her gospel. And as they raise their head up, this is what I saw in that vision, is that the beast's face began to split and to tear. And the Lord said that he was going to reveal the beast system, and that's been happening. Reveal it and judge it, and thereby bring blessing to the body of Christ because of it. A lot of revealing, a lot of judging. Things are being exposed right and left. And it will continue through this year. But I heard those words, the tearing of the beast. Strife is in the camp. The tearing also signified how that they're turning upon each other. The natural culmination and the working out of the beast system is self-destruction. It's suicide. Then I heard the Lord say, this decade begins with revival and prosperity. Revival and prosperity. We are in the move of God. While these things were being said to me, I heard boots on the ground. I heard the Lord's army. And it started with, let's say, the sound of a thousand boots running to the battle. And then it increased, it doubled, and then it tripled and it quadrupled, and it just began to grow and grow and grow to the sound of, of, of millions of boots. And I knew that the Spirit of God was saying that this represented the increase through revival of not only the body of Christ, but of the warriors. And I heard a voice say, intercede and pray for intercessors for those who will take the, the horns of the altar, so to speak, by faith and intercede this nation and this earth into the will and the purposes of God. And when he said, he reminded me of the scripture, 2 Chronicles 20:20. 20, 20, Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. The word prosper just kind of just leaped out at me. And the Lord said that he is beginning a wealth transfer. 
Now, a lot of people in thinking about uh, the end time wealth transfer, you know, in Proverbs 13, 25, it says the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. In Ecclesiastes 2, 26, it says to the sinner, God gives the work of gathering and collecting that he may give to him who is good before God. Transferring everything that the sinner masses up, God wants to transfer to his people because God did not create the earth and all of the wealth of it for Satan or Satan's children. He created it for his own children. And the body of Christ needs to be blessed. There is a time that people think about end time transfer of wealth that actually is occurring right at this particular point. And a lot of it is coming through President Trump. Prior to President Trump, the power structures of Jezebel and the beast spent years amassing wealth for the purposes of the beast. But along with the shift in power structures, politically in our nation, there was a shift in wealth, returning much of the wealth to the citizens and to the agenda of God. There's covenant fulfillment and provision that's entailed in all of it. And so that's why God is giving us this time of prosperity. When you look at what President Trump has been able to do since his inauguration. Oh, the Spirit of God's getting on me with this. In other words, I feel the anointing. In fact, in the spiritual realm right now, I see coins and dollars and gold bars and other things building, rising, and massing. And the Spirit of God is, is just breathing on this and saying that he gave Trump the ability to improve the economy to keep his sure word to you. And that there cannot be an increase in America's economy without it affecting the body of Christ, the citizenry, the people of God. It's one way that he is bringing about provision for you. And the Lord says that during, while Trump is in office, make all you can, save all you can, give all you can. It's a time for you to receive. Now there is an anointing on God's economy whereby when we operate in that economy, we obey God and where we give. But there's also an anointing for receiving. You have to believe, act, give, receive. Believe, act, give, receive. Believe that God wants you to prosper. Believe that his word is true. Believe that he is prospering you. Act on that. Faith is an act. You have to do something, not just sit at home on your couch and believe it. Well, you know, if he wants me to prosper, he'll just dump it in my lap. I want you to act. He wants you to obey the Holy Spirit, whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to do and whatever opportunities he brings your way. Believe God for the opportunities. Believe God for the doors. And then follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit into your day of prosperity. And as you do, then you take that, the, the economy and you begin to give, give to the gospel. Give in the way with tithes and offerings and things that God has instructed you to do. So that as you give the same measure that you give, that you can receive back, but receive. The farmer doesn't just go out there and spend all of his time planting and going back and just lollygagging and just doing nothing about receiving. He works the harvest. You need to work your harvest. It's time for you to work your harvest. Wealth transfer is happening now. And the Holy Spirit says it's time, the year 2020, the year of the mouth, the year of third heaven authority in the mouth for the believer, is also the beginning of a decade of the Word of God and third heaven authority in the mouth. So what does that mean? What is 
third heaven authority. Remember when I was talking about the eagles and have the, how that they have the vantage point of rising up above? You see, we all have authority. And the authority that God has given to us, like in Luke 10, 19, Behold, I give you authority over all the power of the enemy. All believers have authority. But in 2010, the Lord taught me to third heaven, and he taught me about third heaven authority. It's the first time that I ever heard that phrase it was from him in heaven nine years ago. Many people use it. I don't know if they used it before or not. But at that point, third heaven authority, God showed me from his vantage point and taught me how to pray against things on the earth from heaven, from heaven's vantage point, from above. And so as we look at those things, we have to pray in obedience to the word. We have to pray using our authority. We have to pray using the name of Jesus. We have to pray while consciously in our heart, seeing ourselves above the circumstances and discerning and judging. We have to pray by yielding to the Holy Spirit and what he shows us in obedience to the word of God. And when we pray from above, not beneath, then that third heaven authority takes us further than we could ever go. I'm telling you right now that God wants you to know there are times of great prosperity that is ahead of us. The Lord told me that some time ago that the next two years will determine the following three. What he meant by that, giving the timing, is that the years 2019 and 2020 would determine the following three years up through 20, what, 23 or thereabouts. He said that the first two years will be years of prosperity for a nation and for those believers who will believe, act, give, receive on purpose, by faith. And that will determine, what we do with those two years will determine then the following three. Now that seems to coincide with the 2020 election. The Lord said that the 2020 election be belongs to the eagles. Do we want to continue the prosperity? Because socialism will try to kill it. It already is. It really worked hard on it in the last administration in destroying prosperity in America and bringing socialism in. Socialism is a self-destructive concept. It's unbiblical, has nothing to do with the teachings of Christ or the practices of the early church or anything that God wants for us now. Don't let anybody deceive you into thinking or saying that it does. Two years of prosperity, what we do with it, how we handle it, how we do spiritual warfare and continue to uphold the purposes of God in America will determine then what's going. In other words, we got to pray President Trump right back into office and to continue the prosperity. Now, I don't know why the Holy Spirit is, is really camping on the prosperity issue and the things that he's sharing with me today because there are many other issues. But one of those other ones, he said, by the way, let me get back to it because I wrote it down. 
the Lord said, the next decade begins with revival and prosperity. Oh, God, thank you. Revival, unorthodox, out of the sanctuary walls. Some of it in, I know, but the meat is in the street. Revival, spiritual awakening, saving of souls. They're coming in by the millions. Look for it. Believe for it. Pray for it. Rejoice in it. Great revival breaking out all around this earth. And God is doing it. Oh, I felt the Holy Spirit beginning to lift. In other words, what he was just telling me is your portion right now is done. Pray for the people. So I'm going to pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person listening, watching this video. I pray for the eagles. I pray for the saints of God. I pray, Lord God, that as we go into this next year and this next decade, that, Lord God, your hand would be upon them. And Lord, that you would heal them, you would strengthen them, that you would bring the anointing for supernatural youth into their life, that you would prosper them, that you would give them wisdom and understanding of how to go out during this time of prosperity and to bring, to bring it in, covenant fulfillment, bring it into their own lives so that they can save all they can. They can uh, also give all they can in supporting the gospel. Praise God. Helping fellow believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray. I've just got to do this, people. In ending this video. By the way, before I give the release, I do want to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. In the description below, you'll find a link to visit our website. Go to our website, see what's there. And also, if you go to the secure donation page, you can become a partner of the ministry. There's a place there that you can become a partner of this ministry. You can sow into the anointing, sow into the revelation, bond it to your life. This is an important thing to God. Bond it to your life. Are you ready? I'm getting overcome by the Spirit of God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the anointing and all that I feel in the spiritual realm that is just rushing and pouring into this next year and into this next decade now upon your people, release by the power of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. And uh, I'm looking forward to sharing some more things in the next couple of weeks. Be blessed.